Let me give you a challenge. Can you draw the complete graph K5 on a piece of paper without any of its edges crossing? Here's what that means. You start with five vertices, connect every pair with an edge, and try to do it so that no two edges cross. Sounds simple? Go ahead and try. But here's the twist. No matter how hard you try, you'll always end up with at least one pair of edges crossing. And the same goes for another graph called K33. The complete bipartite graph with three vertices in each group. So today, we're going to answer this question. Why are K5 and K33 not planar graphs? Let's explore this together. A graph is called planar if it can be drawn on a flat surface, like a piece of paper, without any of its edges crossing. It doesn't matter how messy the drawing looks at first. If there's even one way to draw the graph with no crossings, then it's considered planar. But some graphs, like K5 and K33, truly cannot be untangled, and we'll soon prove why. Let's take a closer look. K5 is the complete graph with five vertices. Every vertex is connected to every other vertex. That means the number of edges is 5 choose 2, which is 10. K33 is the complete bipartite graph with two sets of three vertices. Each vertex from one set is connected to every vertex in the other set. So it has six vertices and nine edges. Can these graphs be drawn without edge crossings? Let's find out. To study planarity, we'll use an elegant result called Euler's formula. For any connected planar graph, the number of vertices minus the number of edges plus the number of faces equals two. That is, V minus E plus F equals two. Let's see this formula in action with two examples. Example one, a triangle. A triangle has three vertices, three edges, two faces, one inside and one outside. Now apply Euler's formula, three minus three plus two equals two and it works. Example two, a square with a diagonal, four vertices, five edges, three faces, two triangles in the outer face. Using the formula, four minus five plus three equals two, again it holds. Euler's formula is a great tool for understanding planar graphs. Now we'll derive an important inequality. E is less than or equal to three times V minus six. This must hold for any simple connected planar graph with at least three vertices. Here's how. From Euler's formula, V minus E plus F equals two. In a simple planar graph, every face is bounded by at least three edges, and each edge borders two faces. So we get two times E is greater than or equal to three times F. Now solve Euler's formula for F. F equals two plus E minus V. Substitute that into the inequality. 2e is greater than or equal to 3 times open parenthesis, 2 plus e minus v close parenthesis, e is less than or equal to 3v minus 6. That's our key inequality for planarity. Let's test the inequality on K5. K5 has 5 vertices, 10 edges. Calculate 3v minus 6. 3 times 5 is 15, minus 6 gives 9. But K5 has 10 edges, which is more than allowed so it violates the inequality. That means K5 is not planar. Now for K33, it has six vertices, nine edges. Since K33 is bipartite, it contains no triangles, so every face must be bounded by at least four edges. This gives a stronger inequality. 2E is greater than or equal to 4F. From Euler's formula, F equals 2 plus E minus 4. Substitute values. F equals 2 plus 9 minus 6, which is 5. Now check 2 times 9 equals 18. 4 times 5 equals 20. But 18 is less than 20. Contradiction. That means K33 is also not planar. These two graphs, K5 and K33, are the smallest non-planar graphs. They form the foundation of a deep result called Kuratowski's theorem. A graph is non-planar if, and only if, it contains a subdivision of either K5 or K33. So if one of these shows up, even in disguised form, 
the graph is not planar. Thanks for exploring this with me. If you enjoyed this elegant reasoning, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and stay tuned for more beautiful mathematics. Until next time, keep exploring and keep your edges clean.